From NBC News, this is Today's Take with Al Roker, Natalie Morales, Willie Geist, and Tamron Hall. Live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. Coming up next, can you figure out what is wrong with this picture? What you need to know and do before you try to sell your home right after this. a lot of houses for sale this time of year. Maybe you're thinking about putting your own on the market. There are some industry tricks to finding a buyer fast and getting your asking price. Here to test our home selling savvy is HGTV's real estate expert, Mike Aubrey. Mike, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You're going to put us to the real estate test here. You found some real homes, virtual tours. You're going to show us the homes and we're going to have to guess what's wrong with them. Absolutely. I mean, I think some of it is going to be obvious. My yeah. friends at True Place who do my virtual tours, yeah. I want to make sure you understand this before you see the first picture. These are not stay. Aged. This is a real <laughs> house that is actually on the market right now. Okay. All right, so that's a big a tease. Look. Let's get into the first before picture. You got it. Before you got your hands on it. Here's All right. Okay. Here we go. So what we're looking at here looks a little bit more like the Bates Motel yeah. than, say, a house that you might want to go buy. We've got what kind Curb of problems appeal. going on? Curb appeal is bad. Grass needs some fixing up. That it, tree, yeah. Yep. Yep. That tree that is bad. Property. You also are looking at your neighbor's house yep. next door, not identifying exactly the property that you are looking at to buy. Right. I think that the house just looks dark. You know, they talk about selling houses during the spring market. Wait just a little while for these trees to start to get leaves. Yeah. And guess what you see? Let's see the after. Let's what do we see got? the aftermath here. Okay. And there boom. we go. The there instant go. curb appeal. Huge improvement. Absolutely. So, so is that worth it, putting the money in to fix the grass, get the trees out? Is that worth the return you're going to get for fixing it? Absolutely, because yeah. I think that you've got about two or to three seconds when somebody pulls up to a house to really grab their attention or you're going to lose them. And in this case, the picture on the left puts us in a scenario where I think people may just drive off. Where the picture on the right, it's warm, it's inviting. We see yeah. all kinds of green outside and somebody wants to go in and see. All right. Absolutely. Cool. All right. Let's move on to the next one. This is an area in the house. I guess it shows the, the breakfast room right Come as on. you walk in. <laughs> they didn't Come do on. That. This I, is, a, this is no. how they're showing I, it on the I swear, floor. there is no stick here. I am not making this up. This is exactly how they found the house when the photographer Jeez. went you know to it's take freshly pictures. Painted. Right, I was going to say, <laughs> I mean, I, I, in terms of that, I really like the color on this house, but why leave the paint cans there? I and know. what's the skinny with the compressor that's down there in terms of what kind of work they're going to do? The I like, is a nice Yeah, I was going to say, I like the fact that they yeah. have something to clean the floor, but you uh -huh. might want to put that away. I mean, overall, this is a great room that gets tons of light, but it just is completely messy. A little bit of elbow grease in here really can yeah. put you in a situation where somebody wants to buy it. There you okay, go. Remove the clutter. So let's see. This is how you stage it, right? All right. Now, listen, this looks great. I mean, this is a clean, orderly room. I think that this makes a buyer want to be in this house and maybe wants to buy it. Now, listen, here comes my warning. My next picture, again, I promise, this is not staged. Okay. This is real. Going in the All family right. room for Here this one. Here we go. There, <laughs> does the guy come with the house? <laughs> I mean, the, the photographer actually got there, and apparently the guy had been painting the breakfast room or something like that and maybe took a nap and never woke up while oh, the guy was going through the house. The back this on the table is a big too. problem, no doubt about it. You kind of don't want that. I think that, you know, this is a nice room, and there's a lot of really good stuff that could go with this room, but we're not really identifying the fact that there's really nice hardwood floors in right. there. There's neutral paint on these walls. I think that, you know, they've got some great ceiling fans, stuff like that, but it really is lost in just the chaos of the space. Let's see what you so did with it. What does it look like after? There you up. go. Just straighten Get it up a little guy, bit. Pretty up. much. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Kick the guy out of the Real room. quick, last picture, the bathroom, okay? All right, you got it. And Let's our last picture, look. quickly, I think that this one is another pretty easy one. You look at it. I mean, just in case you've got grease all over your hands, they were nice enough to leave <laughs> <Wow>. some, <laughs> something to fun. clean that out. Um, I mean, you know, I think we got to really lose the cloud shower curtain, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. This is just, there you go. You get rid of everything, it looks clean, and it certainly makes a buyer want, in this case, to be in this house. All right. Well, Mike Aubrey, thanks so much. Don't Amazing. Sleep. Don't sleep on the couch in your own real estate photo. <laughs> Pretty bad That's move. the lesson of the day. Some bad virtual tour pictures. <laughs> All right. Coming up next.